Now to close the, the uh, intradermal area or the skin in this one, this model is designed to actually be able to use to close an intradermal pattern. So to do the intradermal pattern, we want to bury our knot. So we're gonna start with the needle going backwards at the depths of the incision. So the knot stays buried. So we go into sub Q tissue, and then we wanna pull the epidermal layer back and have our needle come out just in the dermis itself. And that can be fairly challenging to get started. The thinner the epidermis or the dermis, the more challenging. So there we go. We've got our suture coming through. You can see we're below the epidermis. The pink is epidermis. The dermis itself is white. And because we're backhanding, makes that more challenging. Then we're going to come back on the near side now and put the needle just at the junction of the dermis and epidermis, back through the dermis, have the needle come out right where the needle went in on the first one. When you're bearing a knot, the whole concept of bearing a knot is to start your needle and finish your needle where you want the suture to end up or the knot to end up. So in this case, everything is deep. I can put this in the middle, come around and grab the short end. I'm gonna tighten again along the incision line. Along the incision line. Four throws, four throws square knot. We're going to cut just the short end because we're going to bury this knot and use a continuous. So if we were to cut both of those and we wouldn't have gotten very far down the line of doing the incision. Now, if you remember, we started deep and we ended deep. So the next step is to stay deep. And that's where a lot of people make the mistake. So they'll start superficial when you really want to make sure you stay deep. So we're gonna stay on the near side we're gonna work our way from the deep area and stay just underneath or at the junction here of the dermis and epidermis. And you wanna make sure that you take your time to make that bite just right where you want it to be. So as we pull that through, see the knot stays buried. Now the important thing is to come across the incision, straight across to do the rest of your suture bites. If you come forward or backwards, you will end up having uneven suture bites and that puckers the side. So if we pull this over and see right where it should be, we'll come in right at that same level and we're gonna make sure that our suture goes in at the junction of the dermis and epidermis and then we want it to come out at the junction of the dermis and epidermis. So that takes a little time to do that. You can see that I'm working to make sure I get it just right where I want it. And once I have it where I want it, I'll feed that through Stabilize the needle, now I can bring the needle through. And if I pull these together, you can see how that's opposing the skin. And I want to continue through and to do this epidermal and dermal repair in order to accomplish this. So if you see here, I'm gonna see right where the needle suture comes across, make sure that my suture bite is right there between the dermis and the epidermis. If I take smaller bites along the edge, like this, I will pose the skin a little bit better. So it all matters on how you do that. You see this bite was a little long. See how that's coming apart. So I need to be learning from that and this tissue will help us to sort out how to do that. So in this case, I've got a little shorter bite and I think that's going to help me to do a better job opposing the skin in this case. So here we go. Take a shorter bite there and look at how much better that apposition is compared to that one. So it's all part of my learning process as I'm suturing to see how those come together. And I have to make sure that the depth of my suture bite from superficial to deep is also even because if I take it deep on one side, so for instance, you can see here that my suture bite was a little deeper in the dermis. So that raised that area up. And that's all part of this process. So we want to be learning as we are doing this procedure so that we can make sure that we do this well. So now I'm going to try to be better, coming right at that junction, not taking too far of a suture bite, come right up at the junction. And as I do that, you can see how I'm opposing that skin really nicely. And that's a part of this model that's really nice is that not only do you, does it teach you because it shows you where it's not coming together well, but it also is nice because if I don't like this and I'm, I'm unhappy with this closure, as I'll show you in a minute, you can just take it out and start again. 
You can do that multiple times and that's the benefit of being able to do this in practice. Look at that. See how much better that is than when I started. So it's all part of my learning process and improving what I do so that I can make sure and get a good closure for my patients because the better I close them, the more functional it is, but also the more cosmetic it ends up being. And that's really what our patients are looking for is uh, they want it to be cosmetic, we want it to be functional. Uh, so the, the good news is that in most cases it actually does the same thing. If we have a good functional closure, it tends to be more cosmetic as well. Now as we get to the end of this, we have to start paying attention because it's time now to consider bearing our knot. So as I'm getting really close, if I get too far to the end before I start getting ready to tie my knot, I'm going to end up with not enough room to work in. So I think there's still enough room to do a little more. We can get one more suture here that's fairly close together. And then one more on this side that we can do something similar. So we've got that there. So we're going again right at the junction of the dermis and epidermis as we go through this. And now it's time to go ahead and make our knot. So we want our knot to be at the bottom. So that means we have to start by getting a deep bite. So we're going to come at the dermis and epidermis. And now instead of going parallel, which is what we've been doing, we're going to go perpendicular to the bite, to the incision. We're going to bring that through and tighten that up. So we're going to tighten that down. So this one comes from the bottom. That's good. That's the beginning of our knot. And we need to come from the bottom back to the superficial area again. Again, working our way right to the junction of the dermis and epidermis. So now both of these are coming through the bottom. So we have to do that one more time with this end. So we're going to go superficial to deep and come out right where the other sutures do. So now as we look at this, all three of these suture loops are coming from the depths of the incision. And we do a square knot, needle holders in the middle, come around once. Tighten it down and as we tighten, we're going to tighten along the incision. You can see how that pulls it together. Come around here once. Tighten. Back through, make sure we're keeping it nice and flat and tighten. And then one last throw to tighten that up. Because we're going to bury, we're going to just cut the loop here. So it's important to, to just cut the loop uh, two millimeters long. Then we can take the needle again, right down along the knot, and we're going to bring that through skin here to the side. And if you watch this now, as we pull this down, that will pull the knot down into the depths of, this, of the incision itself. So now the knot is completely buried. So as we look at this, I can evaluate and critique my suture line and realize that these bites were good because I didn't go very far there, but I went too far on this side. So this side was good, this side was too far. So I took a little bigger bites there. But yet if we pull this out and we don't have the tension base on it and watch it come together, you can see again that it opposes pretty nicely, but my bite depth was a little different. So the beauty of these pads is that I can now look at this and go, ah, there's more to learn. I can do a better job the next time. So let's go ahead and we can pull the sutures and start all over.